Brian, rising gas prices already hitting way too close to home. Meals on Wheels saying the extra cost at the pumps actually looks like it's driving up the demand for their services in the community. Well, I have put my name in the hat for an electric uh, pickup, so that might help. Meals on Wheels volunteer Jeff Barrasco has been volunteering for the past two years. It's never cost him this much to fill up his truck, but he says the reward is so much more. The price of the gas is kind of inconsequential compared to how much I get out of this. Meals on Wheels executive director Lisa Gillian says prices at the pump heavily impact all of their services. And we're going to see it in all different um, areas of service. Um, we know our, our deliveries um, of our food. We know there's going to be fuel surcharges tacked onto those. Um, when we have services done here at the office, we know there's going to be trip charges and fuel charges added on that. Gillian says that the need for their services isn't going away anytime soon. That's why volunteers are always needed. Then we have clients that have no access or assistance with food over the weekend. So on Fridays, the volunteers, in addition to their hot meal, will deliver a weekend meal sack. People are really thankful for this meal. And, uh, you know, their contact with the outside world is somewhat limited because of their inability to get out and about. So the gas price doesn't seem like it's, you know, of significance to me. Now, while they haven't lost any drivers, they do tell me that they could always use the help, especially if you just have some extra time to deliver those meals. You can find out a little bit more on how to help over on our website, everythinglubbock.com. Katie, thank you. you know, the war also